we're going to be going over the following assignment. Um, it's where we're going to use Logisim, and I'll have that in the description below the like button. It's a super easy download to create a simple 8-bit counter and the output connecting to two hex displays, and we're splitting the upper and lower nibble, so four bits each. A bus splitter is required. So the thing that we're going to use is a counter, a splitter, a clock generator, and two hex displays. So with that in mind, we're going to use the simulation. We can expand all these different menus to see all the different options that it's going to give us. Now, there's a few things that we're not going to need. We don't need any gates for this. We don't need any plexers. We don't need arithmetic either. I do not believe we need memory. Um, and we don't need base. So what we're going to do first is get our hex digit display inside of here. So we can take this and we will take this here and we can copy paste that in there. So we have two hex displays like this. Now the instruction says that we are going to also have a counter, a splitter, and a clock generator. So let's add those. Our counter is going to be up here somewhere, but here's the clock. So we can just click it and place this right here. That's the, that's the clock. Um, we have our splitter right here. We can take this and put this right here. Now, what about our actual counterpart? It was actually in memory. So we do need something for memory. So in memory, we have this counter right here. We can click it and we're going to drag it out here. Now it's really small, so try to zoom in a little bit. And now what we're gonna want to do is connect this wires. There's these little nubs at the end of these. And what we're gonna want to do is connect the first one. We're just gonna click and drag it. And this is gonna go into the spot right here. And this one's gonna go into this one right here. Now what we can do is right or right left click this and we can see all this information right here. Now we're gonna to wanna to change this but we're gonna come back to this in a second. We know the output for this is going to be this Q. So we can take this output and put it inside of here. That way it'll take the output. Now this is our clock. We know that clock is gonna go through this part right here, this counter. Um, what else do we have? We have ground. So this ground should go like right here. And then we can connect this to here. And then we have somewhere for power, but this works actually without power for the simulation. So I'm not gonna connect it to power. Um, so let's bring the instructions back here. So we've dragged everything together. We configure now. Let's configure the counter to have eight bits. So this one is going to be our counter. If we click it, all of our information comes up here. This is eight bits. Now this has to go to the splitter that also has to be eight bits. This fan out is how many like outputs this has here. So we're not going to touch that, but we do want to touch the bit width input. So we're going to have that set to eight right there. Once that's configured, we have everything connected. And so now we can try running this. The way we're going to run this is go to simulate and we're going to do ticks enabled. So every time it ticks up, it's going to do a number. Now notice how it starts with this first one right here. We don't want that because it's giving us a big number. So what we can do is turn off for ticks enable. We can actually do control R to reset everything. We can then delete this line and then delete this line. It seems like this one should be connected to the first one. Looks like it connected it twice. We'll connect it like this and go through like this, and then this one should be connected to that second one. It's a little bit messy, but this is what it should look like. Now let's try to simulate it. We can do control K, and that'll actually run our simulation. And we can see it going through like this. And so that's going to be all for the simulation. These are the notes. We would just go up to file. Uh, we would want to save it and then submit a CTRL file, which is the or a .CIRC file which is the file it will save as. Um, that's the one you're gonna to want to do when you submit it. So we can see it's starting to count up. That's a C, D, E, this is in hex, so F, and then it should move on to this next one, which it does. So counter works perfectly.